Okay, hi guys. I hope everyone is doing good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start um, reading um, certain passages from the book. Okay, so I'm starting from chapter eight, okay, and I'm going up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Chapter eight is titled Abuse in Relation to Success. So let's jump into it. Childhood trauma can be a powerful motivator. According to experts, many high achievers have a history of difficult experiences in their early life. These kinds of distressing events in childhood can light a fire of determination that fuels success later on in life. A study by clinical psychologist Meg Jay studied 400 extraordinary high achievers and found that 75% of them had survived critical childhood experiences or traumas, including the loss of a parent, severe poverty, or abuse. There are five distinct characteristics of high achievers, and they include believing in the impossible, resisting the fear of failure, consciously creating their future, tapping into things that motivate rather than tearing down, and rejecting the urge to procrastinate. These people are seen to have the green thumb and tend to manifest on higher frequencies. They lead the best teams, achieve exceptional results, and get noticed and promoted more often. Naturally, when an individual experiences high amounts of success, great power comes with it. The use of power affects the overall flow of organizational practices through making positive power moves. Power is the ability to influence other people or issues, which refers to the ability to affect behavior of subordinates with the controlling capacity of the resource. The power with the people with power use their power to define the targeted areas to achieve ultimate goals. Success is the ultimate destination of a powerful person. A successful operation needs inspiring leaders as well as sound executives. The fulfillment of a person or corporation can be determined by the five components, creating happiness, proper work roles, and nonstop improvement of leadership. There are numerous forms of power, but non, but non-public and Positional power is the most used form of power. Elevated power is associated with manipulative, contemptuous behavior towards people with low power by devaluing them. It is associated with dehumanizing behavior towards others, notably individuals in high power, but lacking social status display increased interpersonal conflict and demeaning behavior. Research indicates that people with power use threats and confrontation to get others to submit to their will. In defense of their ego, power coupled with feelings of incompetence can create aggressive behavior. One key reason for the emergence of this dehumanizing behavior is their false sense of superiority over individuals with low power. The power is enforced by excessive praise of their subordinates and the fact that they have the authority to impose negative consequences on others. All right.